morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And we did a good job last night defending the Horde right here, but I wanted to show you what I was working on in between episodes, because it is going to be a late start today. Yeah, nothing going on here, but look, I got these iron storages down, and I put them over here, and I couldn't interact with them. It was just, like, uh, blank. Like, I couldn't uh, open it or rename it or anything. They have really good storage. They work good. But what I so what I was gonna do, I was like, uh, okay, I'll just whack it and I'll break it and see if it's like you know maybe you have to hit it and it'll reset or something like that. And it ended up when I swung at the supply box, it hit the window, and so then I broke the window and then I could interact with it again. So there's some kind of a weird hitbox collision issue with these like windows that are protruding out here. So that was the issue there. I also got the cell boxes in over here. Uh, so these are a little bit smaller, but they're a lot easier to make but anyway so what we need to do for today is probably try to raise some money get some loot and probably get like a big pile of loot together so that we can uh, sell off make as much money as we can and then hopefully make enough money to buy that inferno blade because the inferno blade is a legendary weapon that I don't think you can craft I think the only way you can get it is in loot or apparently like buying at the trader so yeah it's gonna be super important and it was uh, if I recall from the footage it's like the, the worst class. I think that was an H class. And so we should be able to upgrade that though in the maintenance station, I think. So all right, uh, let's head down here, see if we can get a sugar butt and see if we can also get uh, a quest reward from yesterday. Sugar butts, give me that. Oh, also skull crushers and rock busters. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a talk later about rock busters. We're gonna need every one of those we can get. All right, Ellen, what you got for me? How's it going? Let's see here. Mm, iron sledgehammer painkiller. <laughs> Easy choice there. I probably should... Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I, <laughs> what I should do here is one of my skill points should go into Daring Adventurer. Additional mission reward offer plus more dukes. And that should be effective immediately. Oh, and then this one we get more, even more dukes. But I really wanted to go into parkour, which means I need to take a point into agility. Oh, uh, crap, man. Um... Okay, just do, do, do the do dukes for now. Oh, geez. Yeah, <laughs> it hurts to do that sometimes because it's uh, it's such like a small benefit. But oh, anyway, okay. what's my extra reward here? Ah, uh, structural brace. It's kind of good actually because, you know, repair kits are hard to come by. And so, yeah, I'll take that. And oh my God, a workbench. Holy cow. Um, that's no sell price though. So, and we've already built the one. Damn it. Food bundle, scrap armor bundle, AK-47 bundle. Not too bad. That'll give us a, a way to use the, uh, what's it called? 762, or I think it's like uh, 7.92, does that take? I'll have to check in a minute. Let's check right now. So that's gonna be an AK and some 762. Yeah, so 762 in this one. I think I have a uh, 100 or two of that. Anyway, special jobs. Two kilometers northwest to Trader Hue. As you wish. Pulling up the map to take a look at that. Okay, that's up really not that far away. I don't see a road really that's going at that. Maybe this road right here heads over there. All right, someday we'll head over there. Otherwise, I did install an update to Undead Legacy where, let's see, if I take a custom POI, it now gives me the preview. So, okay, let's go do the tier two fetch over here at the tanning spot. Awesome. I think Captain Ellen's looking for some, uh, you know, <laughs> a spray tan or something like that. <laughs> you gotta you get outside more, Ellen. You, you're gonna get vitamin D deficiency hanging out in this bunker all day. Jesus. What are you doing in here? No, sir. Get out of here. Okay, how are we looking on Duke so far? 3,000. I'd say we're about halfway there. I think about 6,000 uh, in combination with the sugar butts uh, should net us enough money. So, all right, we just need to do a little bit of looting today. Maybe do like two quests and then we can probably head up to Trader Hugh, not Trader Hugh, um, Trader Wrecked and buy the Inferno Blade. Anyway, I'll meet you at the tanning salon. That wasn't too hard, and I think I've cleared out the bottom level. Yeah, they've respawned though, unfortunately. And I really don't want to kill them all twice. So let's just uh, get the quiet stuff out and hit the quest, and let's do this.
Damn, so far so good. Getting all the stealth kills I could ever ask for. Oh, missed that one. Too easy. Well, we got the hole upstairs though. This is, uh, I guess a tier three. So there's probably <laughs> more danger lurking somewhere. Okay, lights out. We're going full stealth again. We looking at up here. Got a businessman, lumberjack. Well, it doesn't look too busy up here. Well, we got some on the other side of this wall here. That's gonna take them forever. Let's work on the lumberjack then. Improving my bow skill and my assassin skill, which is kind of cool. Oh, we're waking up a bunch now. I think it's time to just get the lights on and go loud and proud. Oh, here we go. They're starting to break through anyway. Oh, man, they're waking up everywhere. Here, here we go. We're surrounded. What do we got here? So far, so good. Look at these tanning booths. That's so good. Wow, people have such artistic talent. I could never create something like that. Sometimes you gotta love the compo pack. Needs repairs? Are you kidding me? Ah, ow. Really inopportune timing to break my knife. Ah, here's the spray tan for Ellen. God, making the new guy get all the crazy stuff all over town, huh? I guess we're free to loot up a little bit, although I feel like, shouldn't there be more to this place than that? Ah, here's the main loot right here. I walked right by it. So interestingly, yes, tier two loot chest. I think this is another one of those situations where this was supposed to be a tier two, but I think Ellen gave it to me as a, wait a minute, did she, ha she didn't have the updated um, quest or did she? Maybe that's the, the issue that I had. Ah, uh, yes, if I look at the missions, that yeah, it's not a tier three, my bad there. That's just a tier two. So yeah, Ellen hasn't reset her quest yet, so we can't do tier threes today. We'll have to start doing those tomorrow instead. Oh, look at that weapons bag. All right, so here's the thing. People have been telling me that I should be using A and D keys to move the lockpick and then space bar to actually like activate the turning mechanism, which, you know, I guess is possible. It's just, it doesn't feel as natural to me, but yep, that works. Okay, last little bit of loot there. 10 mil, of course, because what else would I get? Okay, let's head back to the base and stash some of our stuff, and then we'll head back, get a reward, and like just rinse and repeat for the whole day. Oh, but while I'm over here, there was that, isn't it over here? Let's check the map. Yeah, there's a gun safe and an ATM over here. You know, someone just recently commented that uh, in the past I've said ATM machine. Yes, automated teller machine. I am aware of that. I, for some reason, I, I just call it an ATM machine. It seems like more natural to me to say it like that. But yes, I do realize that that's not, uh, it's, it's redundant, I guess. Yeah, so timed charges now. You hit the E button and you get the radial menu and you use timed charge and that's a guaranteed one shot to open that. Probably not gonna be worth it, but, oh, a sledge turret. Metal chain mod some buckshot. I'd say that's not too bad. Sledge turret could be fun on Horde Knight. Uh, there's another level 100 safe somewhere. Check the map. Uh, oh yes, over at the gentleman's club or whatever that is over there. Okay, so there's an ATM machine <laughs> right here that uh, I don't think I can pick. Yeah, it's a level 50 lock. Um, I'm not gonna use the time charge on that because I think there's a, it's uh, up here on the left, there's another level 100 gun safe. So we'll use the time charge on this instead. And then, you know, hopefully someday we'll get that ATM opened. Oh, long pipe and steel arrowheads. That was not worth it. Okay, I'll meet you back at Ellen's. All right, what do you got for me this time? Ooh, Rusty Cleaver, which is not doing as much damage as the knife. Only sells for 52. Got some uh, scrap legs, probably gonna sell for the most, so I'll take that for selling. Any more jobs? Uh, preferably, yes, I'll tier two still. Not buried supplies. Although, we do kind of need to get some clay soil. So, 
That might, like, knock out two birds with one stone for us. Otherwise, we've got the barn. And that's that's pretty much it. It's either barn or buried supplies, because I'm not going four kilometers south to do restore power tonight. Uh, let's, yeah, go ahead and just do this one here to the north. Okay, so okay. the north is um, wasteland. I'm not sure how far north. Just shy of the wasteland. Okay, let's uh, make sure the shovel is repaired. I'm actually going to head back to the base and repair all of our tools and stuff, and, um, yes, and then we'll go do some digging. We need the clay anyway, and then we'll talk about how much clay we actually need, because I did the math. Alright, so while we're riding over here, let me just break this down for you. So in order to get the base not even, like, fully crafted- hang on, hang on. Gotta kill this guy, put my notebook down. Yep, don't, don't, don't let him hit me. Yes, good job. Still gotta eat. Yes, anyway, so in order to basically get, like, the frame of the base, like, just the bare bones of the horde base crafted, I'm gonna need roughly 350 cobblestone or clay brick blocks. In order to get those blocks, I'm gonna have to get 3,850 clay, because each block requires 11 clay. Now, there's seven clay per clay soil dirt block, so I'll have to break 550 of those, with two hits with my shovel, that's 1,100 hits, and at 0 0.9 hits per second, that's 1,222 seconds or 20.3 minutes of just straight clay digging. That's a 15 by 9 by 4 chunk of clay. Basically, 15 by 9 dug all the way down to the stone layer. Oh my god. That's, good. that's just so much digging. But fortunately, we have a couple things going for us. Number one, we can take more points into Miner 69er and Motherload, which will give us more buck for our bang and bang for our buck. And also, we should be able to, whoops, going the wrong way here, go to skills and digging. And the amount of digging, I did a rough calculation, that should give us something like 15 extra levels into digging tools. And someone also informed me that this is, these are not like threshold caps where you like instantaneously get the next bonus. This is dynamic. And so we are somewhere in between, uh, you know, 0% harvesting efficiency and, and, and 10%. So, you, you know, this is, uh, going to increase with every incrementally with every little point that we get. So we have a lot of digging to do. Probably we're going to do a big fat mining montage for 20 minutes. We'll use two rock busters and we'll get all the clay we need to get all of the clay bricks that we need to get all of the clay blocks that we need to build the horde base for day 21. Oh my, did I seriously? I got right down here. Good thing I didn't need a freaking rock buster. <laughs> oh crap, that's going to be locked, isn't it? Oh, it's not locked. A cricket bat? What the hell, man? I didn't even know that thing existed. Pipe shotgun, white river supplies, padded leg armor. Really terrible stuff overall. Do I even want to bother with these fools? Lumberjack, oh geez. Yeah, might as well. Ow! Stack up the bleeds on the lumberjack. Get him down. There we go. Bleed kill. There we go. You know, people have been telling me, and I totally agree, garbage, you get better stuff out of garbage than you do out of boxes sometimes, so you cannot ignore the garbage around here. Well, uh, perhaps the thing to do then is to go get the other buried supply and knock that out tonight as well. How's it going? What do we got this time? Hey, iron sword. Yeah, give me the sword. Any more jobs? Of course you do. You have the other buried supplies because you fools right. buried all of your stuff. Well, I do want to check out that iron sword. So people, ooh, that's nice. That's like a, like a Viking sword, you know? Aha, that's the other side of the river. And there's some nitrate out there anyway. And I do need to get some nitrate because nitrate is how you have to mine nitrate to get sulfur ore. And then you have to like grind that up in in the uh, mortar and pestle and you get sulfur powder and that's an ingredient used to make gunpowder and we do need to get ammo production going because trader wrecked once we go there to buy the inferno blade or inferno sword or whatever it is uh, i also want to craft some ammo while we're there because we actually have like a lot of ammo manufacturing material and uh yeah we might as well he's got the ballistics table tier two out there all right let's try it probably gonna regret this mm, yeah well that's not too bad actually Oh, eggs. All right, hit this and get to digging.
So one interesting thing that I thought I would mention because it was news to me, but um, in vanilla Seven Days to Die, you get like a resource bonus for breaking a block. But in Undead Legacy, that is no more. You get the same amount like as you normally would. No bonuses. And also there's no like reworked XP penalty for Motherload. So uh, on the last video, Subquake made a comment about that. You might want to check that out if you're interested. So the reach on this is pretty nice. I do like that. People had suggested on the Horde Knight video that uh, one thing I could do is use a long blade during Horde Knight and use a short blade during just like day-to-day -day operations. Not an entirely bad idea, although once we get the Inferno Blade, baby, it is Inferno Blade 24-7. Struggling. Oh, here it is. I was going to say I was having a hard time. Of course, the um, chest here is buried in the rock layer, which is always kind of annoying. So just like that, we are uh, kind of well on our way to getting all of the clay we need. How much did we get today? That, that's that, that's actually like only 10%. That's terrible. What's in here? A stupid stuff. Oh man, I can't wait until either A, we move out of the damn temperate biome, or B, get a better loot stage. Oh, these guys are moving fast. Ooh, flawless victory. Okay, we gotta get some nitrate to turn the quest in, and I think we're good. Oh, by the way, um, Subquake informed me that the trader, oh, someone else did in the comments, uh, multiple people, I think, that the traders in Undead Legacy actually open up at, what was it, 4.05 instead of 6.05? So, you know, you can get some uh, early morning trading in if you'd like. So the Fun Pimps the other day, they, they released the picture that, um, Keanu, one of the artists, and one of the renders that he did for the new military armor. Well, they're calling it commando armor, which <laughs> sounds really spicy in my opinion. I love it. And so you know, I'm putting the picture up right here for you guys to check out in case you haven't seen it. I will be doing an Alpha 20 coverage video coming soon. I'm putting stuff together for that. Just uh, looking for some time. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. So let me know in the comments what you think of this. And I think if I had to venture a guess right now, I think that they've probably maybe rethought the the whole armor change that they wanted to do because they wanted to replace the like the 10 piece or 11 piece whatever it is clothing system that we have now with a four piece or maybe it was five piece clothing system so they were gonna like dumb it down and they had these really cartoonish like armor sets that they wanted to implement and haven't heard anything about that stuff in a long time so i'm hoping they rethought it and they also released the iron armor picture which i'll throw up here for you as well and so you know I'm, I'm not a big fan of this iron armor personally but then again i don't wear heavy armor so i don't really give a damn either way it's just going to be stuff for me to sell most of all okay i think that's probably enough saltpeter ore which i guess is nitrate and uh, sulfur ore so we'll play around with that more tonight in the what's it called the mortar and pestle to get that ground down into powder that we can then turn into gunpowder in the chem station, which we have still not crafted because um, I well, I was short on something and I was not able to finish that off. And I think we're going to need more acid for the chem station itself anyway, so... We'll have to do another car renting adventure. Oh crap, I'm stuck. Come on! Get up this hill! This thing sucks so bad! I have seen on Twitter though that Subquake is going to be putting in a dirt bike. Oh, what the hell. I'll throw a picture of that up here for you guys too. <laughs> have a look, tell me what you think. And uh, really excited. I think Subquake has indicated that his next update is going to be like the biggest update of all. Like the update of updates. Subquake's been working on this mod for like, oh geez, I think he said like seven years. It's in the description if you look down uh, when he actually started making this mod. So uh, incredible work. I actually was surprised to learn that I, I'm pretty sure, and Subquake, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think Subquake actually works on this mod full time. Like, he has enough support on Patreon and through donations to actually like support himself, which is just incredible. Um, I can, you know, kind of relate being a content creator that just the the generosity of this community is amazing. So, you know, really, really uh, happy for him that he can do that and really pleased that he's put out such a high quality, uh, high quality product for us, basically for free. But let's zip over and see if we can make it to the trader in time before it closes. Come on! Oh crap, I'm <laughs> crashing my bike here. Hello, hello, hello. Give me my money. Come on, lag. Ah! Whoa! Compound bow and steroids or flaming arrows. Definitely take that compound bow. And I don't want any more jobs. 
think we're actually good here. Might have to actually put the, um... Oh my god, I'm gonna run out of gas again. Yeah, I might have to put the iron crossbow away for that compound bow. That's a good find. Oh, hey. Free loot. Who left that for me? Uh, if I had to... S no, one gripe that I have... I don't like these, uh, loot bags. Uh, you know, it's not not the end of the world. It's, uh, just like... I, I prefer my nice, you know, you know, yellow and blue and orange loot bags. I love them. You can just kick them around when they're on the ground. It's just so nice and satisfying. Right, let's get this stuff organized and we will uh, get on with our night. Pleasantly surprised that we have not seen a horde all day. It's been very peaceful. We've been very productive as well. Okay, just heard a wolf. I think there's one right... Is that a dog? No, that's a wolf. Yeah, this bow is going to be doing more damage than the crossbow and it fires faster. Nice. Okay, that's just about everything put away. We have 6,000 Duke's Casino tokens, and we have like a whole ton of stuff to sell. Probably a good idea for tonight is to see if we can get all of this repaired, just for that added little bit of money that we'll get for it. Who's out here? A dog? Like a horde dog or like uh, a nighttime dog? Oh, it's a fucking horde! Ah! Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Um, yes, come up here, please. Yeah, it's horde night. Let's do this. No, 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 no crawling. No, none of that. Get out of there, fucking lumberjack. Die. No, stop that. Okay, three dogs down there, and uh, they look like they want to consistently break that little, like, pillar we put behind the ladder. That's fine with me if you just want to, like, sit there for a minute. Good. Oh, well, there we go. A loot... I don't know what you call that. Is it a loot bag or a loot... loot orb or something like that? It's loot, that's all I know, and that's all I really care about. Not bad, either. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna need the bone to make bone powder, and the bone powder is used to make glue, I believe. Well, speaking of that, now we gotta put everything away again. Hang on, uh, things are a little crazy right now. We were doing repairs. Let's do the repairs. In terms of crafting, uh, what did we need? Chem station. I think all we need was, uh, yes, the acid and the cooking pot. So over here in the disassembly station, I've been disassembling... Oh, it, there, it wasn't able to output because the, the the output slots were all backed up. Oh, crap. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, we've got all kinds of plates here and all kinds of ingots, so I should be able to make the cooking pot. And then I should be able to make the chemistry station schematic. And uh, what was the other thing? The well. The well. What do I need to make the well? I need a bucket, an empty bucket, which is crafted here in the blacksmith forge. Aha, yes, primitive water well. That's gonna be using one iron shovel, which I only have one. That was the one I saved for this reason here. I'm starting to think that maybe, like, I don't know what's more efficient. Is it tree harvesting for wood or is it clay harvesting for clay soil? And then, whoops, oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, clay soil for the bricks for then to the cobblestone because like when you build a base not every single block needs to be strong like really just like the foundation the bottom of it stuff that zombies are going to hit pathways corridors fighting positions stuff like that needs to be strong but like for example that block there <laughs> that doesn't need to be concrete that could be like a particle board for all we care oh and someone told me that there is um a safe behind one of these paintings and there is not but i do think that safes are was it one in here uh behind this maybe no i think that that's like a randomized chance for that to to occur so oh well making me destroy my paintings okay let's read that and uh the question is now what do we need to craft it more iron more acid and cooking pots well we can do the cooking pots now Ah, yes, the mortar and pestle. So we need to turn the sulfur ore into sulfur powder. That's a lot, seemingly. I think also we want to turn the coal into coal powder and the bone into bone powder. Maybe work on the night 
nitrate first, nitrate into nitrate powder, and then bone into bone powder. Do we want to turn stone into stone powder? No, because that's that's for making cement, which I did look into that, and we are quite a ways off from that, I think. Yeah, so cement mixer will require a compact engine, which I think you can maybe get those from wrenching mini bikes and also more research data. We're starting to get low on that because uh, we have not been spending much time in crack books and things like that. You know what, though? The crack book that we did over at the uh, I'm sorry, the analogy is Peb Pebcac repair, the computer repair shop that was the crack book. That was a tier three, I think. And so if we could get a tier three quest and do it all over again, I would be game for that. Problem exists between chair and computer. <laughs> Someone told me that's what it stood for. So Pebcac. Hopefully we can go over to Pebcac repair again. And it's almost morning right now. There we go. I don't think that there's anything really to do more around here. Oh, there is the primitive water well. <laughs> I know it doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. When we get the real base, I'll make a more immersive kind of layout, but I just want to throw all this stuff down for now. Oh, by the way, yes, I can pick that up if I have to, but yes, every two minutes, I think it produces one water. And so over time, this will fill up with 50 water. And so we don't have to carry glass jars and plastic bottles with us anymore. We can just, when we get a whole stack of them, come over here, fill them up and uh, we're good. So today is the day. We are going to get the, um, what was it called? The, some kind of a plasma laser? No, um, I'm thinking darkness falls. The inferno blade. Yeah, okay. So the question is, do I have enough gas to get me all the way to Rex or not? No, I definitely don't. Wow, that sucks. I wonder if that farm right there has some gas. Isn't this the farm with all the exploding mines and therefore exploding barrels, maybe? Whoop, something's blowing up. Okay, just uh, quickly now then. No gas in there. Oh, most zombies. Uh, yes, gas in here. Give me the gas before this blows up. There we go. It's not much, but it might be enough to get us over to Rex. How much did that give me? Oh, we're up to maybe a third of a tank if we're lucky. I was also checking out the gas recipe and oh my God, is it hard to unlock. It's like you need the tier three research station and I don't even know what you need uh, beyond that, but it, it, I remember checking it last night and it was freaking difficult. So that's not gonna happen for a good long time. Yes, yeah, I think this is what we want right here. If we're gonna get the compact engine. Oh, mini bike wheel, that's nice to have. All right, we made it here. I didn't use too much gas either. Oh, hungry, uh-oh. All right, shut that door. What up, Private Ryan? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I don't think uh, Private Ryan really had anything that I wanted to purchase. Uh, we're really just here for the Inferno Blade. So we will do Sugar Butt and we'll do the big sell off to Wrecked here. Independent contractor, not affiliated with the Order of Steel at all. <laughs> all right, let's see how much we can make here. Wow, that's it. Okay, we have plenty of money too. So we, he doesn't want to buy the cricket pad, but I do want to just have a peek at it in case you guys want to see what it looks like. Ooh, that looks like it would hurt, but not necessarily a good zombie killing weapon. Anyway, this is what we're here for. Inferno Blade, 6,600 juice. That's going to be with uh, money to spare now. Oh, I was really looking at this Desert Mantis too, and that's totally affordable now. Taking 44 caliber, 44 magnum ammo. That will replace the stupid, rusty revolver that I've been lugging around for the past week or so. Can I afford the buggy engine? I can. Let's have a look here for a second. I think the buggy might be loot only or trader only. So we either need to like hope that they sell a buggy or hope that we stumble across all of the parts to make the buggy. Like there's like five parts, buggy engine, buggy seat, buggy chassis, you know, whatever. So buggy wheels, let's do it. Let's take the buggy engine. I don't want to regret not having done that in the future if that becomes like the bottleneck. So, all right, that no we've worries, basically bud. spent Jesus enough money. Bad. I don't think now, that I have enough buffer. to buy anything else. Anyway, wouldn't mind having the military leg armor, but you yep, can't do it. Next. Might actually just check and see if he has a job. I want to go southwest if I go anywhere. He's got something to the north that I will have a quick peek at. Taking a look at the map, that is potentially in the, 
I don't think that's in like the wasteland or anything, but we'll go check it out anyway. All right, here it is, guys. The Inferno Blade. And what I, I, I went on to the Undead Legacy Discord and I found out that this actually has a burning effect on it. It's It has like the burning shaft built in. So we'll go Structural Brace because I'm actually not entirely confident that we can repair this at the repair station or maybe we need like a higher level. And uh, we, we don't have any ammo for the Desert Manus yet. That'll be what we probably have to craft when we come here with the bullet manufacturing supplies that I forgot to bring. All right, we're off to the survivor site. Yeah, we gotta come out here and see if there's any survivors here, you know, to rescue. Hit that, see if any survivors spawned in here. I, uh, I doubt that any did, and if they did, I think we're a little bit too late. <laughs> Certainly way too late for that one. Oh, this thing works so good, I love it. Oh yes, a little bit of gas. Nice, I'll go get the gas container. I really do love the extra challenge of like looking for gas that it's not easy to find because you know, when you, whenever you watch like a zombie movie or a like post-apocalyptic survival movie, they're always hurting for gas, that's for sure. So I, I get that sense now, that like that yearning, that burning need for more gas, like a Mad Max style or something, right? Okay, what are we doing here? Got a Karen. Eat that. Oh, there we go. Burning effect. Let her burn. Goodbye. Anything good? No, of course not. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, what do you got for me? Gravedigger already have one ball cap mod or spear hunter for the research data. Don't ask questions. More jobs. Custom gas station. I will do that. It's a tier one gas station and it's far away, but presumably we could get some gas while we're there. I really, really hope so anyway. <laughs> I kind of hope it's one of those like grossly imbalanced like not supposed to be something that you do at Undead Legacy POIs that just has an inordinate amount of something that you critically need that's difficult to get. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe it has like 45 gas barrels there. <laughs> that would be perfect. Okay, here we are. We, another passing gas over there might be worth checking that out once we're done. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to be using the Inferno Sword. Yeah, I can basically two-shot any zombie now. I love it. Okay, do we want to double loot just a little bit here? Because these, like, Mo Power Trucks and stuff, they can have really good loot, so I wouldn't mind hitting this twice. Oh my... Yes! 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 Powered sliding glass doors! That's what we need for the big base build. Perfect! Oh, gas pumps. I, do the gas pumps have gas in them? I mean, that would make too much sense, wouldn't it? Okay, damaged zero four out of five and three out of five yes it was all worth it here just reset the area all right take care of business here we're just lopping off some legs like it's no big deal yep stamina use on this is worse than what we're used to but really not bad i don't think oh yeah the burn stacking with the bleed is just brutal Ooh, wall save i don't have any Oh, level 75. Can I just break this thing open? Oh my. Oh, it's gonna take forever. Oh, it's just not worth it. Ooh, we got an airdrop coming. Show me the money. 371 meters that way. Oh, it's in the wasteland. It is in the wasteland. We get that sweet bonus. Okay, how do I get on the roof? Cause that's where I'm suspecting the rest of the action is. Here we go. Eat that. Lumberjack. Nice. Oh, it's still saying one more downstairs though. Uh, I'm pretty sure I sold my wrench by accident. We'll have to try to buy that back. Whoops. Oh, down there. Oh, is this, is there a secret spot here? All right, let's uh, wrap up the gas thing. Oh my goodness, look at this. Drone cargo extender. That is an important one to have. That's the most important thing you could make in a powered, Tier three vault door. I will read both of those because they're both going to be helpful at some point. And this is to uh, the, uh, craft a stun repulsor mod for stun batons and send zombies flying on the charged hit. 
scrap that. Oh, I need the research data more. I know it sucks, but we've got to get the research data to get the things we really need, and we can focus on the things that we really want after that. Oh, nice. Hobo stew. Just go ahead and slurp that down, and this is looking suspicious to me a little bit. How do I get down into the secret spot? Oh, there it is right there. There's a little spot underneath the ambulance. Ah, finally. All right. What are we dealing with down here? Just get the full auto weapon out. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes, the barrels. It's exactly as I said. All right, lights out. Super stealth. In the knee. In the other knee. Oh, that's a feral. Take her out. Ah, we're done. That was a feral too. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, let's go get the gas cans. Okay, that is all the gas I think extracted out. Need that. Oh, too slow, buddy. Yeah, so that we call that guy Cole after uh, Patreon supporter Cole Slauson. And uh, Camp Razor, we call that Camp Razor after Patreon supporter Razor 21. That's why it's, uh, you know, Razor, Camp Razor, Outpost 21. And uh, this over here with Trader Wrecked, we call that Camp Ethan after longtime Patreon supporter Camp, uh, I'm not Camp Ethan, but Ethan. I, uh, I play with Ethan sometimes on the multiplayer server. He's an excellent POI builder and base builder. But uh, yes, occasionally I do go to Patreon. One of the perks I offer there is uh, naming rights. And so occasionally we'll, we'll name something after a patron. Uh, among those things will definitely be the Inferno Blade. That is deserving of a name. So I'll be heading over there in between episodes to grab a name for that. Just wanted to kind of shine a spotlight on those who support the channel because I deeply appreciate their support. They're making a lot of this possible. Anyway, we're heading dope. Take a quick right right here, and we'll head back to Trader Wreck, turn the quest in, go get that airdrop, and head home for the day. Hey, bud. What do you got? A wrench, by any chance? Nope. Needle and thread for puffer coats. Definitely don't need that. Flaming arrows or a small motor tool tank. Oh, geez. It couldn't really get much worse than that, could it? Well, I'll take the book so I can get the research data. Show me your inventory. Let me buy back my good wrench. I thought I had a better wrench. Maybe I didn't sell him my wrench. Maybe I accidentally left that back at the base somewhere? Hmm. It's a bit of a mystery. I can't wait to do some editing and figure that shit out. It's okay. We'll trust that the wrench is just back home and I'm losing my mind a little bit. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, in here. Terrible. Well, a good food bundle. That should be what giving me four food items, I believe. Yeah, it's, uh, let's see. Open it up. Okay, a couple hobo stews, a couple fish tacos. Eh, I'll take it, I guess. So my plan had been to, on the way home, harvest cars for acid. But I think instead I will head home and see if the wrench is at home. And then what we'll do is we'll push south because we need to make a decision here. And part of that decision is going to include exploring the southern edge of the town that we live in. Wait a minute. I had the wrench on the way here because I had wrenched a couple of, is it in the bike? It's in the freaking bike. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm crazy. Oh, unfortunately it is like basically totally broken. So we're not going to get a whole lot of wrenching in. Oh, knives and swords increasing by the minute. Nope. Crap. That's it. Ow. Who did that? You son of a bitch. You think I'm going to walk away from that? I got a freaking Inferno Blade. Look out. Oh, I'm too encumbered for this. Oh, shit. No. Bird, motherfucker. Oh, I'm on the wrong road. Good for me. We're going cross country. Aha, uh -huh, look at that right there. That is a titanium boulder, and titanium is used to make, uh, well, titanium items and, and maybe other things as well. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I hear it's difficult to mine, so we'll need to get good mining tools in order to effectively mine it. Notably like uh, the Valkyrie drill, maybe? <laughs> or like, uh, oh, oh, bear. Oh, no, 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 no. Not right now, renegade. Ah! Oh, I just pulled up on another little passing gas out here. Is that bear giving up? He is. Can uh, slurp up a little bit more gas while we're here. And I think I'll just throw a bunch of it right into the bike to save on weight. 
There we go. All right, let's uh, just poke through here real quick and see if we can get anything good with our sweet loot bonus that we're benefiting from right now. I don't really think we need to poke through like these boxes and stuff like that because it's not gonna have scaled loot. Tool shelves, on the other hand, might. Oh my goodness. Speaking of auger, wow. Okay, yes, definitely read that. Auger crafted in the workbench, which, you know, we have. And um, otherwise, this is all really reasonable stuff to get. We need a compact engine. In fact, we need a couple of them. So we really, really, really need to focus probably in the next episode on getting... Um, like mini bikes, not bicycles. Mini bikes, maybe motorcycles have um, the compact engine. I don't know, but we've got to try. Okay, main loot here. That's all I'm really interested in. I'm not even, oh my military boots. Nice. That's what we came here for. Loving the wasteland. Okay, what's in here? Taylor station, already know it. Vehicle fuel saver. Oh my God. And what was that barrel anyway? Empty fuel barrel. Jeez, I don't know if I need to carry that around. I have one back at home. I'm not gonna do anything with it just yet. Gas up, give me some ammo. Good, what's in this? Mm, brass, okay, goodbye. So the thing that I wanted to decide on with you guys is whether or not we should make our base and horde base right about here, I think, would be a good spot kind of overlooking this la lake and you get a nice mountain vista over there. We're kind of midway between three traders. We've got Trader Ellen down here, Trader Rect up there, and then Trader Hugh up here in the Northwest. And a good, nice open lake view. It, when it's less foggy, you can see the city over there. So it's a really, really cool spot for a base. Or do we want to find a different spot? And I have something in mind. And that something is this spot over here. You see, there's another lake here on the southern edge of town. Whoop, gonna roll off. No, we don't want that. Anyway, oh yes, we're in the burned biome right now. Let's push south a little bit. Right, don't want to be in the wasteland at night. So we need to make this friggin' snappy as fuck. Uh-oh. Yes, so this is basically the spot right here. You're not a feral, are you? Nope. Oh, that's a bear. Oh, crap. I'm leaving. Okay, but you guys get the point. We can either make a base here in the wasteland and benefit from that sweet loot bonus on Horde Nights and get all the, you know, extra loot out of the bags and we'll be overlooking that lake, overlooking that city, albeit it's a little bit more foggy and dreary and cloudy, but at least the sky is kind of blue because of the mod. It changes the sky. Or we can make one kind of back where we were before with a look, I, arguably a better view but without that loot bonus. But it is nightfall, and I think I'm just gonna head back to the base and get things organized for tomorrow. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. And tomorrow we continue to forge our legacy. We are the tip of the spear, raiders in the night, avengers for all mankind. We are the Order of Steel. While you're waiting for the next video, check out some of the content on the end screen here. But if you just can't wait to see what happens next, jump on my Patreon and see if early access is right for you. Huge thank you to those of you who continue to support the growth and development of this channel. You all are the true nerds of steel. Anyway, my name is Tamreki, and I hope this video has earned your subscription, and that I'll see you in the next one. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.